everybody it has been a minute since I've made a vlog for you guys I know I've been putting a lot of tutorials out there lately but I haven't really recorded any vlogs mostly because I haven't really known what to vlog about to be honest with you I've just been really busy just I don't know designing crochet patterns and getting them out there but um I don't know I just feel like a lot of my day-to-day -day life is very much the same. I get up, I go for a hike to the lake, I get back to my cabin, and I get right to work. And it's just like that every single day of the week. And, at, like, how many different ways can I film a vlog and make it interesting enough for you guys to want to watch it? So, so the intro of this video, you already saw, like, what a mess my table is because I share my table uh, my table acts as a kitchen table most of the time except for when I need to film tutorials and right now I am getting it ready to film a blanket tutorial I've got a bunch of this hue and me yarn I mean do you really expect me to use a different kind of yarn at this point I feel like this is the only yarn I ever use but anyways I am so my stepdaughter's birthday is this Thursday but we're going out on Saturday we're gonna take her out for a little wine tour here in the Finger Lakes however I want to make her a sunflower blanket because her favorite flower is a sunflower. That's actually my favorite flower as well. But I wanted to surprise her and crochet her a blanket with a sunflower on it. And I literally only have three days to do this. So today is Tuesday. Technically, so we're going out on Saturday. So technically I have four days, but not really because Friday I'm going to be out and about running around getting all the last minute things I need to get for this wine tour and I'm probably going to be editing this video also on Friday so I really only have three days to crochet this blanket. So I am going to be in super crochet mode for the next three days. I not only am I vlogging about this blanket but I also need to film the process so that I can upload that video tutorial to go with the pattern once the pattern is published. So, so needless to say, it's going to be a very busy three days. So you see my strawberries? These are the first strawberries of the season. And I am just so happy that, oh, look at this. So happy that it's strawberry season. I love, love, love fresh strawberries. I also got this bottle of wine last night for anybody that cares. I feel like most people don't care about my wine excursions. <laughs> um. I am very much a wine mom and I am a wine snob because I live in the Finger Lakes. But I like this. This is a local culture. So they literally just like fermented this wine. Just like just let it sit out and catch all of the yeast and the stuff in the air as it is as it's flying around. And they made this wine. And this is very, very lovely. Um, I did a tasting. This is Pinot Noir very lovely probably nobody cared about that but I thought it was very cool so I designed this blanket a couple weeks ago and I'm just now making it starting to make it today I've had other designs that I've had to get published and everything so I'm finally sitting down to make it but the base color is going to be this salt and then the leaves or not I'm sorry the sunflower the petals are going to be these two colors I really really loved these this is arrowwood and mustard I believe and then the leaves this is called fatigues and then the center the center of the sunflowers is going to be this oops there we go focus it's gonna be this color so I hope that it turns out I'm always nervous when I design something I'm always nervous that it's not going to turn that it's that it looks better in my head than it's gonna than the finished product's gonna look so I'm a little nervous about this. I did change the design last night. Um, I was going to do a little, so I was going to make the flower a little different and I ended up changing it. So I hope I don't regret that. But for the sake of the tutorial, I feel like if I went with my original design, people would have been hella confused. <laughs> and I, I needed to simplify the pattern. So that's why I kind of changed up the design of the flower a little bit. So yeah all right well i will check in with you at the end of the day i have to get my filming set up set up so that i can start to film uh this tutorial so i'm going to do that now but i'm going to pop in at the end of the day and show you how much progress i made this tutorial is shaping up to be a tad complicated <laughs> to the point where i 
am considering, well, I was considering scrapping it and not writing a pattern, not doing a video tutorial at all for it because I'm afraid the process is going to just turn a lot of people off. But the thing is, is if I make this blanket, I cannot in any way photograph this and post it on social media because then I will get tons of people saying, where's the pattern? So we're gonna write the pattern and let the chips fall where they may, I guess. Anyway, here is the, let me adjust my ring light so you can see a little better. So this is what I have so far. So this does, this does not look that complicated right now. So this is the stem of the sunflower. Okay, a little stem of the sunflower. Um, but it's when we start adding in like all of these other colors and I'm gonna have to have multiple skeins of each color attached for literally for like a singular row. And I'm really afraid people are going to really hate me for that. You could though, I do wanna leave the, I am gonna make an option that you can make the flower just one color and you don't need to do like, you don't need to have two different colors for the petals. I think that will help people not be as annoyed for lack of a better term. So I think that's just what we're gonna do. I, um, I've been munching on my strawberries. Um, also, the, my hand is dirty from, I was just outside uh, moving my solar panels around. So I guess I gotta wash my hands if I'm gonna continue this tutorial. Oh, and also having all of these skeins attached definitely makes my project far less portable. Actually, it's not really portable anymore. So, uh, cause I am going somewhere tonight. Uh, there is live music at one of the wineries and I really, really like this guy and I want to go, but the problem is, is I, I definitely can't bring this project because it is not portable. And I have another crochet project that I want to start, but I can't start that because I need to start it on camera in order to film the tutorial. So I can't bring that either. Oh, I know what I can crochet. I know what project I can bring. I'm going to bring, I have to make wine glass lanyards for this Saturday for our girls wine tour with my stepdaughter. I'm going to make wine glass lanyards at the winery. How appropriate is that? So here is my current workspace. I've been munching on these strawberries over here. They're so freaking good, you guys. And then here is all my yarn and my mess. Now this, look at this. This was just a bunch of yarn barf that came out of this skein. So that was so fun. But anyways, I'm gonna stop here because, um, so let's see. I just finished working with just the green and the white. And the next row, I actually have to attach both of these yellows. I am on, oh yeah, I'm on this row here. So this is the first row where I have to attach uh, those colors to do that. Look at all the tabs I have open. Look at all that. Ooh, but um, I don't think that I can do a tutorial of this. I hope people don't hate me for this, but I do. I do want to vlog myself making this blanket, but I'm probably not going to write a full pattern. Thing is, it's just, it is a lot. It's a lot to explain without overcomplicating it. Cause I feel like showing it on video is definitely overcomplicating it. I could put it out. I could still publish it as a written pattern, excuse me, with color block instructions and just say that it is for experienced crocheters that, crocheters that are experienced in um, tapestry crochet. Because I'm just, I am really struggling on camera to explain what I'm doing and make it not look complicated. <laughs> so please don't be upset with me. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna vlog myself making this blanket and we will not be making any video about this. <laughs> anyway, I do need to do something with my hair. Um, it's actually pretty warm outside. I Look at me, I'm in a sweater. It was cool this morning though but it's like 83 degrees now <laughs> and I'm in a sweater. So I've got to put my hair up and do something here and I'm going to head out. Oh, and I have to get the yarn together to make those wine glass lanyards. All right, so I am here. Got my project bag with me and also glass of rosé. So I'm going to, 
I have nowhere to set my phone. I have nothing to like prop it up against. So I just have to hold it while I shoot this video. But um, yeah, we're gonna get to work on some projects here. So I didn't show you guys. Oh, here, here, I'll do this. Oops, sorry. So I didn't show you guys. I made this top, pretty summer top and it's a crop top, but I want to make, um, I want to make a little tie back, like a little, to, to go across the back here, if you didn't want it to have like the, cause I made it to be very, like a very deep cut so that you could wear it off your shoulder if you wanted. But if you don't want to wear it off your shoulder, I, um, I'm gonna, I want to make a little tie back to put across the top. So it'll, it'll stay up on your shoulders. So, brought this and then, I have, ooh, I have these little beads. People are probably wondering what I'm doing filming out here. Um, here's one. Oh, there's the other one. So I'm going to put these little beads. I don't know if you can see those. I'm going to put those on the ends of the, the little tie back. So, um, oops, I have literally, sorry. I literally have just enough yarn left to make that. So that's, that's what I'm doing. to day two this is Wednesday it's Wednesday I need to have my sunflower blanket finished by the end of tomorrow which is Thursday <sighs> you guys <sighs> all right so I finished the sunflower portion okay so literally I just have to crochet you see that and now the rest of it is just going to be solid so the rest will go really easy I Oh, side note, don't mind my hair. I went for a 5K. Well, my the, my normal hike every morning is a 5K down to the lake. Um, but I'm trying to beat my time every day. And I'm trying to power walk 15 minute miles. So I get it done in 45 minutes. Today I did it in 46 minutes and 18 seconds. But there is a pretty good incline for the whole last mile and a quarter, mile and a half actually. Um, it's a pretty good incline. So um, trying to beat my time has been a little challenging. So anyway, that's why my hair is like, I haven't done anything with myself since I got back from that. So anyway, and also I planted um, some flowers this morning and I've been doing work outside. So um, we're just a <laughs> mess. So anyway, back to this blanket. All right. Um, I'm not going to give it to her. <laughs> I'm going to finish the blanket, but I'm not going to give it to her. And I'm also not going to write the pattern <laughs> because let me show you the back of this. Well, this isn't really the reason why, but look at all that. I got some lovely ends to weave in. It's not horrible. It's definitely, it's a, it's a little horrible actually. As I worked through this blanket, through all of the colors, like there were, there would be as many as eight or nine color changes on one singular row. And having to have eight or nine balls of yarn is certainly not impossible, but for me to try to relay, uh, also, there are certain places where you, like you could just switch back and forth and carry the yarn if it was just like, you know, a few like short segments. And then I wouldn't do a separate ball of yarn. I would just like carry the yarn over. And I just felt like it was so much to try to explain. Like the rows that you need to have separate balls of yarn. And the rows that you know you can kind of get away with just switching back and forth. I don't know you guys. I'm looking at this blanket. I just don't know if I want to give it to her. I don't know. When I give somebody a gift that I crocheted. I want it to be my best work. And I feel like this was 
not my best work. So we're gonna finish the blanket, but I'm also going to just make another blanket. And unfortunately, I literally have one entire day to do this and maybe Friday. Friday's gonna be busy though, because I have to run around and get stuff. I'm just trying to decide what stitch I want to make her blanket, the, her new blanket. <laughs> I have plenty of yarn to make another blanket. I was thinking the waffle stitch. I really like the waffle stitch. It's like a nice, super squishy stitch. It's very cozy. And definitely with this, you know, bulky yarn, it would make a very cozy blanket. So I'm gonna show you guys what else I crocheted yesterday when I was at the, uh, what do you call it? I went to the winery to listen to the live music. I'm gonna show you what I crocheted there. So first of all, I bought everybody these um, matching Finger Lakes. Oh, there's a glare on there. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, Finger Lakes glasses. It's just a heart with like the different Finger Lakes in there. And on the back of the glass, it lists all of the Finger Lakes. Um, but you know me and I had to crochet lanyards. Now I already have a lanyard for myself. This one is for my stepdaughter because her favorite color is green and then I just have to crochet one for my sister-in-law and I also have these little tags hopefully you can see that these little tags that say the finger lakes on them these nice little wine glass lanyards so anyways I've got to make one for my sister-in-law but at least my daughter my stepdaughters is done I also added did I tell you that I wanted to add a oh what did I, what did I do with it? Okay. So I made this top. All right. A pretty little summer top. This is just like a crop, uh, kind of like the, well, I explained it to you last night, I think in the video, it can be kind of an off the shoulder top or it can sit on your shoulders. If you have this little tie back and I did add this tie back. So, you know, it's just like this, cute little summary top. I am meeting with my model actually in literally just a few hours. I am meeting with her so that I can shoot photos of this, of her wearing this. And then it is Wednesday, which means it's line dancing night. So I take line dancing lessons. Um, every other Wednesday I take line dancing lessons um and my my model my friend she's my friend too <laughs> okay she's not just my model she's my assistant she works as my assist she works for me as my assistant um but she also models my wearables and my blankets but um she's also my friend and she goes line dancing with me on wednesday nights so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do all right so for right now i need to stop crocheting and i'm gonna my dog drinking his water. Um, I'm going to go through my yarn stash, do some inventory, and we're going to figure this blanket thing out, okay? I got to make a new blanket in a day. It's, it's going to be great. Probably not. All right, so I completely forgot to film at all yesterday. So where we left off was I changed my mind on the sunflower blanket. I got halfway through and decided that that was not what I wanted to do at all. So all day yesterday, I had my head down, just crocheting all day long, all the way up until 10 p.m. I did have to make an emergency run out to Joanne. The closest Joanne is 40 minutes from me. So I needed a uh, two, well, technically only one skein, but I got two just to be on the safe side, but I needed one to finish the blanket but anyways i said that i was contemplating the waffle stitch so that's what i went with so let's take a look at the finished product so here we go can you see it 
nice soft oh, focus there nice soft squishy texture i have a couple more ends to weave in here and the reason i chose this color palette is uh luckily i had all these colors on hand minus one skein but the reason i chose this color palette is because my stepdaughter has actually requested me to make a blanket in the colors olive and beige so and i added the i did add this ivory or cream color just for a little a little more um contrast i guess but yeah so this is the final product now the question is to fringe or not to fringe guys is this like an age thing <laughs> because i feel like no modern crochet designers add fringe to their blankets and i love fringe i always like having something on the edges of my blankets whether it's fringe along the top and the bottom or a tassel on each corner but like are we not doing fringe anymore now listen i am not a fan of the process of adding fringe but i gladly do it because i like it and i just i don't know like do we think that this blanket is okay on its own well anyways i have one more thing to crochet i'll show you I actually have to pull it out of this gift bag because I already started to put stuff. I did show you when I was at the winery the other night, but or I showed you this. Um, I got this Finger Lakes wine glass. And then I did have these um, tags, these Finger Lakes tags custom made for me. I think by the Spotted Zebra. She's in Canada. She does lovely work. But anyways, uh, so I made this for my stepdaughter. Now I have to make one for my sister-in-law because she's going to be joining us and I can't, I can't just like give my stepdaughter a wine glass and a lanyard without making one for my sister-in-law too. So I chose this color. This is the Lion Brand 24-7 cotton and I'm going to whip up one of these guys. I think they take me about, I don't, I don't really know, 40-ish minutes maybe to make. So maybe while I'm working up this other uh, wine glass lanyard, I can, uh, while I'm doing that, I can be thinking about the whole fringe versus no fringe or t tassels versus no tassels. I'm also, as soon as I'm done crocheting, um, I have to go pick up, I purchased some resin, handmade resin earrings that look like little glasses of wine. Like they got like, um, and they're pink. It's supposed to look like, are they pink or are they red? It's supposed to resemble like rosé or red wine. But anyways, they're super cute and I love supporting local businesses. I purchased them from a winery on the other side of the lake. My friend works there, so I actually just Venmoed her money and she cashed them out for me. So I have to go over to her house up at the north end of the lake to go pick them up as soon as I'm done crocheting. I'm going to add those to each of the gift bags. I got a pair for myself too, so I can be all festive tomorrow for our little wine tour. All right, I'm going to go crochet this lanyard and then I will be back to show you the finished product. Good morning, everybody. So I did not film for the rest of the day yesterday um, because my son and I went out to dinner. It was Friday night and we always go out on Friday nights. We go out to dinner and then uh, we also went mini golfing. We went to the farmer's market and it was a lot of fun. Uh, and there was also an arcade there that we went in. So anyway, all I have to say, I did not do any more filming last night, but I've already wrapped my uh, stepdaughter's blanket, but I'll take it out and show you really quick. I also have to show you the finished, oops, uh, wine glass lanyard. So I opted for tassels. Um, I just really love tassels on my blankets. Um, so we've got, well, I don't know. Can you really see that? On the white end, I did white tassels. And then on the green end, I did green tassels. So, and I, uh, I photographed this yesterday and they turned out so, so good. Um, the place where I chose to take photos was, I, honestly, I could not have chosen a better location, in my opinion. So they turned out really, really well. So anyways, I'm going to rewrap this and put this back in the gift bag for her. And let me go grab, because I've already wrapped, <laughs> I've already wrapped everything. I should have made this video earlier. Um, oh, and I have my shirt on my top. I made this specifically for today, for this wine tour. But you see the little... I got the little tie back here uh, because without the tie on, when you don't have the tie in, you can just, um, it's removable. You just take it out and then you can kind of wear it like, you know, um, 
I like wearing stuff like this. I mean, you could wear it like this even with the, the tie back, but anyways, I'm probably just going to keep it, keep it like this, but it's just like a nice light summer top. This pattern is coming out. I am in the process of writing this as we speak, but let me go get that wine glass liner to show you. All right. So this is not crochet related, but I also picked up these flowers just from a local stand. Um, so just locally grown flowers. I did, is this not the prettiest bouquet? Guys, I, I had so much trouble finding a bouquet because every bouquet of flowers that this lady had were drop dead gorgeous. But this, let's see, is that focused? See how pretty those are? And it's just this place, this lady called So, can you see that? So Pretty Flower Co. All right, so now I have to, <laughs> you, I mean, really, I should have done this before I wrapped everything, but. Um, all right, so this is how the lanyard turned out. Can you see that? This is how the lanyard turned out. Cute little lanyard. And do you notice my little wine glass earrings? So there's this lady that makes local. This is all local stuff. Are these not adorable? And again, these are just um, a lady across the lake. Put mine in and put them in the wine glasses so they don't get lost in the bottom. And also just because I've got it right here, I got them. This is homemade fudge. Um, this one is peanut butter chocolate um, fudge. So I threw these in the gift bags as well just for something extra so so that's it you guys i i did it i made it to the deadline i have a blanket to give to my stepdaughter and um all of the all of the things that i needed to crochet and i think it was like three days i only had like three days three and a half days i did it my carpal tunnel is definitely screaming now by this point because i have literally been in super crochet mode for the past 72 hours so but anyways thank you for hanging out with me um and i will see you guys in the next video bye